Hi, welcome back. This is Shedosaurus. Today I'm going to show you how I made my Bridgeport Rapid Traverse knee attachment that goes on your drill so you too can uh, burn out your battery drill and change over to a power drill later on but makes the things go up and down pretty fast. Firstly I'll give you some info. Uh, the milling cutter I'm using is a 3 16 or a 4.7 mil. Uh, the outside uh, diameter of the uh, original size on the U U UK Bridgeport, it's probably the same on the American, I'd say so exactly, is inch and five eighths. Now that's a hard size to get, so I've uh, whittled it down to inch and a half of what we're going to be doing today on the blank. There's the blank already in there. Um, and it just, it goes just as good. Uh, so what you want to do is you set your cutter uh, so I've got a 40 to 1 dividing head here, I've put the blank in there and I've set the cutter to just below so that the top of the cutter is just on the center line because uh, we're going to be cutting below the line. So if you have a look at this over here, that's just a straight edge put in there, that's going to show you that, you see it, it it's not center the the gaps are not centralized uh, and uh, that's that's how we're going to be cutting it a lot of people would say well, how come you haven't drilled the center out yet that's less milling uh, I prefer to have the center in there because otherwise you're going from milling to not milling milling to not milling and it tends to be a little bit noisier I tend to get a smoother flowing cut through if I do it uh, right the way through with the center still being in there. The depth of cut I'm aiming for is 13 64 of an inch or 5.1 mil. Going to be putting cutting uh, oil on there. I've got a 40 to 1 dividing head here. Uh, I've got it set on the 18 hole and uh, for to get the correct uh, designation here we're we going four turns with an extra eight spaces uh, and that that'll give you and now it cuts from multi directions so as I'm going I'm going to be pausing the camera and taking photos of what it looks like in the beginning and it looks like an absolute mess but uh, it really does uh, does come good so uh, let's go now we're going to get straight into it I'm not going to show you how to operate a dividing head or whatever there's plenty of other videos on YouTube of how to do that so let's get started 5.1 mil deep. Let's go. say it's going fairly slow that's because I'm using 4140 here it's a nice hard steel this attachment will last forever so we've got the first one done we've already got our arms advanced and we're going four turns and eight points uh, I'll take a photo after this cut.
second cut. Okay, it's already been advanced and we're on to the third cut now. Lovely sounds. the fourth cut things are starting to look messy on the head you'll see what I mean once I've taken this uh, next photo So this is now going to be the fifth cut coming up and uh, we'll get another photo after that and it's uh, starting to look a little bit messy, a bit like an unevenly cut pie but uh, it'll uh, only sort of take shape right at the end. It takes off a lot less at this stage so cutting gets a bit easier. get a photo of that and they'll come back so now as I'm only taking out smaller pieces from now and I'm going to speed it up a little bit put it into a second speed here we go this is cut number six get a photo of that and we'll come back cut number seven still not looking much in the photos but it's uh, it'll start taking shape now as each tooth gets done on the uh, the other side there makes the second side of each tooth <laughs> Ok, 
cut number eight and then we'll get another photo. Cut number nine, almost done now. Get a photo of that and then come back. Cut number 10, which isn't really necessary because uh, it should be exactly back to where it started. But it's always good to give it that last run and you know if it goes through smoothly that uh, all the other cuts have been successful and accurate. There you go. Went through without a hitch. Now I'll just take that up to the buffing wheel and uh, give it a quick buff and then I'll bring it in. You can see all the passes made from the previous cuts and uh, now you need to take it to the lathe and drill the center out and machine out when they uh, when they sell these things they generally will machine up to that point which hides how these cuts were made I suppose that's how they keep the uh, people buying their units but there you go so nice fit now you probably find that uh, to finish it off you need to take it to a file and just run a file through as each cut was made and uh, then it'll you know just neaten it up take the sharp edges off here yeah, any burrs whatever else that's left after the wire brushing so here we go looking at the final product 16 mil center hole drilled to about uh, 38 40 mil uh, you need 16 this is a 5 8 and uh, a 5 8 is a bit too tight and then I've filed it so that it just fitted nicely otherwise it's too tight to fit and it'll pull the collar out when you pull off so you just keep filing at the sides you know so run the file through and uh, there's the finish I haven't uh, machined out the center points I don't don't think it's necessary but uh, there you go beautiful working unit now you can burn out as many battery drills as you have